Hello YouTube friends, viewers and trolls who's gonna be blocked. Today is July 14th, 2018 and the topic is something uh, roughly around the power dynamics between uh, white males and white females. So before people start bullshitting what Kruno said in this video, Kruno is gonna repeat it three times. First time, Kruno never told you to beat a woman. Okay? Second time, I never told you that you should beat your wife or a girlfriend. And thirdly, I never suggested to you that you should beat your wife. However, what am I saying in this video? That she's asking for it. And now I'm gonna elaborate. So, you guys are familiar with the phenomena that um, white women are very, very, very hard working into the coal burning. And uh, it's not a secret that the modern white women really love black cocks. Okay? Nothing wrong with it. Just being spotted. And uh, this is my inside why. So I'm gonna immediately jump it on a conclusion. Black people and brown people are playing the role of alpha male. While white people, also called the small dick people, are playing the role of a beta male. So how does it go? This is like a typical thing. White woman is bitching and we are playing white knights. She is bitching about the white male privilege, about how incredibly op oppressed she is in her upper middle class, right? And I'm just gonna make a short digression here. And we are like swallowing all that bullshit and playing along. And what is the, the result of it? We have now third wave feminism when women are higher than men, okay, and I'm gonna digress and I'll give you like personal insight from Croatia, Eastern Europe, a bit central as well. <laughs> and, uh, and then uh, as we continue with this uh, cuck bullshit beta male, yes ma'am, you're right, she is ditching us and opting for a people of other race. From the same reason, we are you know, ditching uh, white females and opting for Asian females because they are more feminine, they tend to be younger, more beautiful, and they also tend to give a birth to children. Well, our women tend to abort them. <laughs> Which is a very, very important thing when it comes to natality. And um, so, what is going on? Mm, you know, guys, you heard about the shit testing. I'm sure you're having it every every you know, day of your life, right? We are veterans of the shit testing. Well, a shit testing is a mechanism. Of, I mean, everybody's shit testing people around them, especially ch women and children. I'll, you know, first thing which is coming in my mind, like a typical psychopath, little five-year-old psychopath in a class, making noise, throwing things in the air, hitting kids around him, hitting a teacher in genitalia and kidneys. And then, you know, he's just progressing to see how far can I go? Can I kill somebody at the end? And maybe he's gonna do it. Or she. So, same thing as a female. She's bullshitting, she's lying, she's hysterical, she's illogical, she's hitting you. And, at, at, you know, at one point she's simply mopping the floor with you and you're not a man enough, right? You can't be man enough because if you were man enough, she would be on a phone. <laughs> 911, uh, my man uh, hit me. And then other big guys with the guns would come to the door and you would end up being fucked in a jail. Right? So this is another thing. Guys, if you want to see where I'm coming from, watch the big picture link here. And it is a reptilian designed system of destruction of a white family because our um, dynamics as evolved monkeys, which used to be monkeys, it's very simple. She is bitching, you're slapping. I'm, you know, a beating woman is actually really bad because you can hurt her, but you know, slapping, that's simply, you know, plain discipline. What uh, parents should be doing to children and in, in traditional cultures uh, before feminism, what uh, uh, men were doing to women, and that's what kept the family in, in you know, as a unity because somebody needs to be boss. As in a company, like, fuck socialism, like everybody has opinion, everybody pulling their own way. There is only one boss, and that's how it is. Same goes with the family. So, 
our evolutionary dynamics is, you know, just observe the chimpanzees. There is the alpha chimpanzee, he's keeping other in touch, but he's also generous. He gives food, he even kisses babies like politicians. He helps out when it comes to the conflict, but, you know, he has his peers, his backers, his first beta chimpanzees and so on. So, which are backing him up. So same thing is with human dynamics. What happened is that reptilian political correctness intervened in our um, human relationships, right? And then this whole bullshit of equality was uh, invented and of course now woman is higher than men and feminism of the fourth uh, stage is seeking for uh, murder of all males because males are no longer males. Speaking about white ones, okay, my kind. So notice another thing when i said they're opting for a black dicks in europe brown dicks arab dicks and black dicks from nigeria as well so what is happening in europe is we have like a surge of a rape and i think 80 90 percent of rapes are done by the muslim immigrants right you heard about the rape gangs rape culture uh, grooming gangs in england raping games in sweden you heard about uh, it was like recent um, case when um Nigerian uh, killed his baby from a mixed marriage with a German woman and also stabbed her and she she died in a subway station in Hamburg. So we have this interesting phenomena that they're actually incredibly brutal towards our women, okay? You know, no, nothing surprisingly for the Islamic culture where violence is encouraged and with violence you praise the God. Don't forget, Islam is religion of peace and he was just a confused young man. I said it, okay, you can quote me, Islam is religion of peace and he was just confused young man. Islam is religion of peace and he was just confused young man. Never beat your wife, okay? However, what is happening is that the, uh, white women are endorsing this uh, behavior. They are actually worshipping Muslims. Uh, feminist, in the last phase of her feminism, she is turning into Muslim. This is not isolated case. This is happening so many times. It happens so many times. And the reason is when she is um, okay reason is when she accepts the Islam as a biological unit she's aligned with the truth of her biological role in a family which means on her back legs spread subordinated to the male lord right I'm not promoting Islam here I have opinion about it however when it comes to the female male relationship Quran uh, designed it very well okay and because it's absolutely mentally, spiritually fake situation what we are having in our male-female relationship that they are superior to us or, you know, that fucking face, uh, fake uh, equality, which is total bullshit. And of course they suffer in that fake equality. And they are showing that suffering through the, you know, slut walks, through the fuckings with the strangers while they're drugs in the toilets, through the abortion, through the hysteria. And we are simply encouraging that mental madness, okay? And more we are uh, you know, encouraging this mental madness, she is getting more and more insane. And then at the end, she flips and says, you know what? I need to find a healthy alternative to my life. I can't be hooker anymore. I can't suck dicks while I'm drunk or drugs in pubs. You know, I can't be knocked uh, pregnant on back seats on some smelly uh, cheap cars. I need to find some stable vertical in my life and then she goes for Islam because Islam is offering her uh, that way to exit and to be uh, to stop being a hooker anymore okay and oh, same you know which is of course yeah Muslim men of course coming from that culture with the same um, ethics they're also uh, helping <laughs> helping her to straight her up right plop 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 nice uh, bruises on her uh, white face and yeah you know it, it's a it's a smacking therapy you know smack my bitch up and a uh, little bit blood but you know her mind is saved and i never said that you should i'm simply saying what's happening in the culture which is not mine so um what to do <laughs> Well, this is a complicated thing. If you really want to ask me what to do, just uh, watch this link, Global Pulse, Man Pulse Management and uh, how to solve this uh, reptilian matrix, um, the cube uh, problem. It's it's metaphysical problem in the essence. I'm just speaking now from the perspective of the white um, um, monkey, evolved monkey, right? 
just noticing around because guys you know I came a year ago from Southeast Asia three years in Cambodia three and a half years in Thailand and uh, what when I came here what really shocked me is that uh, people who are aggressive on a street in Croatia are male uh, females young females especially of okay, football hooligans in my neighborhood who hang out there getting drunk uh, taking speed uh, smoking joints yeah the, the, these guys are a little bit mm -hmm, dodgy and um, who else well you know when you have you know some narcissist in a group um, on a street stuff like that and typical gangs talking people throwing down but what really surprised me is the category of females because because in Southeast Asia <laughs> that was simply not happening females been actually very nice to me and submissive generally speaking people who've been acting as our females where you know tuk tuk drivers which ask you tuk tuk penai where you go you say no thank you no thank you no thank you pai cow you know ah, <clears throat> you know they've been acting aggressive like that so I mean for me it was totally contraintuitively to notice that our females are acting like uh, like gangsters on the streets of Phnom Penh you know and uh, I till this point to this time I really really can't grasp it because it so makes no sense the only sense it can have is you know you're thinking like a man what would happen if we if we enter physical conflict who would end up being beaten? A girl which has uh, approximately 40% of my physical uh, strength, which is average, right? 40% is, is a female strength compared to the male. Well, you see, again, to the beta male, beta, uh, the shining knight in the white ar armor, the beta orbiter, she is counting on the all males around to jump in and to help out. And this is, you know, this is so pathetic when, well, understandable when you also calculate the fact that 80 percent of people both male and female are organic portals meaning they don't have minds of their own right and they're simply mind controlled to like a machines to behave in a certain way because they are biological machines so you know it's kind of pathetic when you see that white males are actually digging their own grave and the grave of their own uh, race by this uh, totally to me legal slimy behavior of, of crawling under this white insanely privileged insanely bitchy pussies okay and you know I don't want to be misunderstood I really despise white women you know I wasn't till I came here and then when I came here and when I noticed I mean you know just just seeing them uh, waving on a street under influence of drugs and 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 and, and shouting and acting like like a totally stupid like like a typical not even guys now now this is this was shocking to me our girls when they go out they are dressed more provocatively than asian hookers asian hookers when they work on a street okay when they when they're telling you massage massage um Nyam nyam, okay, okay, nyam nyam, okay, nyam nyam means it, but you know, she's telling you she's following it, right? Not every single one is following it. They are dressed more conservatively, more modest than our girls. Guys, are, are white women just the hookers in disguise? How far can it go? What's gonna happen with this race if this continues? We are encouraging our women to be hookers. What's gonna happen with us? Just think. Don't forget, I never told you that we should be beating them. I'm simply saying that they are begging us for it. 